sexually need you. You are my person. Secretly in love. Doing juju. Now. Feeling trapped by a threat of blackmail or the threat of leaving someone is in danger. He knows people have messed with your love life out of envy, jealous. He knows people don't want you to have nobody, a boyfriend or a husband. Someone's being a homewrecker. Someone is playing with fire. A dangerous game. That someone could get hurt. Because, uh... Somebody's got a fuck buddy. Somebody's got a fuck buddy. Somebody's got a fuck buddy. They want that fuck buddy. Wishing on a star of it, but in a dark place. They text in a race. Fuck it, I'm tired of trying. Please forgive my actions because they're getting jealous and they're saying, please don't go. Someone feels bad for choosing the other person. Trying to seduce a new lover. Being nosy about a person's life would be... The moon... Hidden secrets. So someone's being nosy about somebody's life. Someone is flipping out that their lover has spiritual gifts. Because someone got caught. They need healing. They need healing. Someone's being real. Someone is being fake. Wolf in sheep's clothing. That's why they're retreating. False informationing by a karmic. Wolf in sheep's clothing. So somebody's studying why these people are retreating. And enchantment, in my opinion, would be stuck in an illusion. Karmics will get their karma from trying to hurt the DFDM. That would be doing black magic and came to the light. That's where the magician's coming on. Somebody's doing magic, which it could be clouding someone's judgment. That's why someone's retreating. Someone's contemplating on what to do if they want to take a leap of faith with a renewal. Someone is much trying to keep a lover away for their selfish needs. Someone is doing fraud upon a person. False informationing. Someone got some secrets that issues and secrets fantasies they have of you. Is why the person's retreating. They need to go into nature. Karmic is being sent. Karma is being sent back to the sender. For spiritual attacks, sending demons, sending witches, screaming banshees, warlocks, anything evil. Trying to hurt someone, even a voodoo priest. So, pretty much. And a... A Gemini. Leo. Pisces. Actually, I'm going to show this. Gemini. Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra is asking people, please don't go because they get jealous because they got caught. Love's not real right now. That's what's mainly going on. That 
these people are jealous and they're retreating from a new re a renewal contemplating if they want to take a leap of faith because they did black magic it's manipulation it's not real they're doing black magic they're contemplating and there's people wanting to leave these fools because it came out to the light. So these people caused so much drama that there's people who want nothing to do with these people. And people are studying on false information. And they're retreating like little bitches because they're not healing. They're trying to, to seduce a lover that is a fuck buddy. Pretty much. Someone feels bad for choosing the other person. They want forgiveness for their fucked up behavior and their addictions. And from people wanting to walk away. And they're stating, please stay. Please don't go. Fuck it. I'm tired of trying. Feeling trapped by a threat of blackmail or the threat of leaving someone is in danger. Someone got secrets. Secrets that issues and secret fetishes or fantasies they have of you. That would be the black magic. That would be someone being secretly in love. Being a creep about it. Someone is much trying to keep a lover away from their selfish needs. Horrible addictions from low vibrational people that are nasty karmics. Karmics will get their karma from trying to hurt the DMDF. Out of jealousy. Out of black magic. It's being resent back. False information by a karmic wolf in sheep's clothing. A nasty, dark energy to cause problems. That's why people want to walk away. They don't want to deal with it. Someone's being real. Someone is being fake. Wolf in sheep's clothing. So someone is being two-faced right now. Somebody saying one thing and then going to another thing, not being straight up. Karma is being sent back to the sender for spiritual attacks, sending demons, sending witches, scream banshees, warlocks, witches, anything evil, trying to hurt someone, even a voodoo priest. It's all going back to these people. Twice. These people are false informationing on people because they need to heal. Someone's doing fraud upon someone. Someone is flipping out that their lover has spiritual gifts. Being nosy about a person's love life. Someone is playing with fire, a dangerous game that someone could get hurt. And someone is a homewrecker. Hardcore. He knows people have messed with your love life out of envy, jealousy. He knows people don't want you to have nobody, a boyfriend or a husband. So that's why there's people studying. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to be around it. Pretty much all these people, they're caught. And that's why they want to retreat. Because they know these people need serious healing. From what they're pulling. They got caught. People are studying upon it. Guess what? They're trying to run away. And it's not going to go away. And they're saying, please don't go. 
Like I keep telling people, they have every right to get away from you if they don't feel like being around you. And there is manipulation going on. There's false information going on. About a Libra. A Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo, Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo, Gemini is going around causing issues of false information on people. And they are caught. Secrets are coming to the light. Things going on behind the scenes. And there's people in contemplating and studying upon a situation, knowing that these people are lying through their damn teeth, knowing that they're falsely accusing and starting stuff. Doing black magic, they are caught. The moon is the energy of a cancer. You guys are caught. And they're getting jealous because nobody wants them. Nobody wants anything to do with them. They're in a dark place because they are, they have a fuck buddy. They have too many lovers that sexually, that they sexually need. Wishing on a star that you wouldn't study upon their behavior. Studying what they're really up to. They were wishing you would not study them. And it came to the light. You found out. You caught them. That's why they're in a dark place. Because they're doing black magic. And that's why they're getting jealous. Because you don't want to take a leap of faith with these people. You don't trust them. That's why you studied upon them. And now they're bitching and crying. Don't go. They have every right to not want to be around you if you're doing something fucked up. Just saying. They have the right not to tolerate you. Just saying. They have every right not to tolerate you. And they don't have to put up with the disrespect. They don't have to tolerate if you're going around false information in on people. Causing drama. They were wishing that you guys would not study upon these people. Of their true intentions. And you guys caught them. In their bullshit. You studied upon it. Because. It's manipulation. Your mind is clouded. Magic. Is basically like a love spell. That. They want to take a leap of faith with you. But. Whoever these people are that got away from them. There's mind. Mind games. Mind fuckery going on. You studied them. They were hoping you would not do it. It came to the light. You caught them. Good job. You stuck your intuition. You studied upon a situation. Good job. Ever since you studied upon them, ever since you studied upon them, because you understood they're not here on earth right now. They're in another gen dynamic, pretty much. They're in fantasy land. You're in reality. You studied a lot upon these people. They need healing. 
That's why they're studying. These people who don't want to be around these people for causing trauma, trauma, trouble, issues. Because you studied upon it. That's why the, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo is retreating from people because they got caught in their fucked up behavior. Good job. Caught on to their bullshit. Now, let's get into this. I know you're my twin flame. Love your scent. Desire on fire. I want to taste you. Passion is strong. This love's crazy. I want to be inside you now. Life experience. This Capricorn may have had a past life with an Aries. Don't realize it. And it's possibly, this Capricorn's possibly having a baby with an Aries right now. And, uh, being, being logic, disciplined, a leader upon this, ever since... Aries and Capricorn, self-discipline, willpower, will get public recognition for something, wishing on a star. Answer prayer that this Capricorn, someone wants to be Somebody wants to be with you. They don't care what people say or do. So this was a Capricorn's wish to be with an Aries. And this Capricorn in Aries is telling people that they ruined a second chance. They gave to people. Being a magnet, don't know why. I choose you over anyone else. I always fucking chose you. Someone got pissed off because someone stood their ground. Because huh, there's an answer prayer that there's a child going to be born or there's a child involved. And it is supported to have harmony, have new, new ideas and inspiration that the Capricorn and Aries trust themselves to have more abundance. They're seeing signs of things. And being playfulness, focused, they both, Aries and Capricorn, are focused on freedom so they can have blessings because they stayed in their power to have a new beginning, to have serenity. Pretty much. That there's people getting upset and jealous because an Aries and a Capricorn is staying in their power. Pretty much Aries and Capricorn right now is a power couple, pretty much. And they're trusting things. They are a twin flame couple. And the wish on a star... Would be getting an Aries pregnant. Ugh. And I believe. This Capricorn and Aries. Had a past life together. Gave your birth and dreams to come true. And um. The Emperor. Archangel Michael. Is saying. There's leadership going on. So. Major Arcana. The chariot, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, they will get public recognition. 
for staying in their power by not giving up, by not backing down, by not leaving shit alone, standing their ground, but trying to be disciplined about it as well. That pretty much a Capricorn and Aries are twin flames. They care about each other, and this is pretty positive, and they got support behind this to get freedom away from bullshit drama. Answer prayer that we could start a family. There is support, ideas and inspirations, have abundance, be in playfulness, get freedom, we stayed in our power, children as a blessing, focus on a harmony, to have a blessing for a new beginning, to have serenity.